When you think of Tight Moon, you'll probably think of Fate. And when you think of Fate, Fate's Day Night comes to mind almost instantly. For many, this quick association is second nature. Yet for those outside of the fandom, it might seem odd since the title itself has never had an official English release. Instead, this iconic visual novel has gained popularity through fan translations, references, and other related material in the Fate universe, making its legacy clear even today. So the significance of an official release two decades later is undeniable. In a time when Tai Moon has brought Witch of the Holy Night and Tsukihime, a piece of the blue glass moon, to the west, seeing Fate's Day Night coming to modern platforms feels like the natural next step. Still, it's hard to believe this long-awaited reality has finally arrived. Yet, here we are. Fate's Day Night Remastered is now available worldwide on Switch and PC, making the legendary entry in the Fate franchise more accessible than ever. Revisiting the cornerstone of Tight Moon, I'm thrilled to see the three-part narrative presented with meticulous quality, supported by a strong script and excellent visuals. Fate's Day Night Remastered primarily follows Shirio Emiya, a seemingly ordinary high schooler with a vague connection to the world of magic. In this universe where magic is hidden from public, Shirio stands in a unique position. After surviving a childhood tragedy, his adopted father didn't fully teach him the ways of the mage. As a result, he secretly practices the only magic he knows, strengthening objects. However, one night he is thrust into the Holy Grail War, a secret battle royale where chosen masters summon powerful servants, legendary figures from history and myth. Each master and servant pair must defeat the others, with winners claiming the Holy Grail, which is a magical artifact said to grant any wish. This conflict forces Shiryu to confront his lofty dream of becoming a hero of justice, facing both internal and external challenges along the way. The narrative of Fate's Day Night is split into three distinct routes, Fate, Unlimited, Blade Work, and Heaven's Feel. Each focuses on Shiryu's relationship with one of the heroines, Saber, Rin, and Sakura respectively. Rin is another master in the Holy Grail War, while Sakura is Shiryu's close friend, seemingly uninvolved in the conflict. These three paths are essentially the full games in their own right, each offering different perspectives of a story and character. It's recommended and required to experience them in order, Fate, Unlimited Blade Works, and Heaven's Feel. This progression reveals deeper stakes and broader narratives with each route. But what makes Fate's State Night stand out aside from its well-known reputation over the years? Well, simply put, it's detailed in universe worlds and multiple faceted cast. Even at its original release, Fate's Day Night broke new grounds in the visual novel genre, putting Time Moon on the map and elevating its status beyond the already praised Tsukihime. This remastered release proves that the strengths have endured over time. Amidst Time Moon's varied lineup with the Fate series as a cornerstone, revisiting this strong starting point is both eye-opening and rewarding. Throughout Fate's Day Night Remastered, Shiryu remains the anchor a well-meaning protagonist whose naive dream of becoming a hero of justice is explored in its uniquely detailed and exhaustive manner. His idolism, so childlike, is refreshingly genuine. Shiryu's apparent wholesomeness, taken to such an extreme, becomes almost unsettling, a rarity in this genre. This exploration of his character is still striking, even today. The other masters, servants, and supporting characters also have their moments to shine. Shiryu's friends and acquaintances at school while not frequently present, effectively establishes a sense of normalcy that contrasts with Shiryu's increasingly disrupted life. However, I wish they had some more screen time. As for the other participants in the Holy Grail War, the focus on each character varies depending on the route. Some like Caster's master and certain students aren't explored as thoroughly as I would have liked, but the overall depth of the cast is actually really impressive. None of the masters or servants feel like mere placeholders in the grand narrative. There's been plenty of debate over the years about the three routes in this game, so it's important to note that while everyone has their favorites, none of these routes are weak. There's no terrible missteps here. Go in with an open mind and try not to let other opinions or any adaptations influence how you perceive the original material. Personally, Unlimited Blade Works has always been my favorite, followed by Heaven's Feel, with Fate being less memorable in hindsight. 
and on that note, many would consider faith their weakest route, but replaying it has made me appreciate its strengths, especially the relationship between Saber and Shiryu. The focus on certain elements that are sidelined in other routes give this a unique charm. For many franchise fans, experiencing the Fate route will be a first, as it hasn't received a direct adaptation, like Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Fill. To be honest, Heaven's Fill, while fantastic, is now my least favorite route. The pacing in the second half feels rushed and drawn out at the same time, in contrast to the more natural flow of fate and unlimited blade works. That said, there are no route ruining flaws. Heaven's Feel is compelling, just not as much as the others. Now let's discuss a couple points about this remastered release. First, there was the launch itself. If you didn't know, Fate Stay Night Remastered had a rough start with a broken English build at release on PC. The backgrounds and character sprites were glitched, making it a comical but nearly unplayable experience. Thankfully, the issue was fixed within a day. The speed at which this was addressed is worth noting as it may have gone unnoticed by those who saw the initial complaints on social media. Another significant change is the removal of adult scenes from the version. Unlike the original PC release, this remastered is based on the later console ports which exclude these scenes. While some fans are passionate about the omission, I believe it doesn't detract from the overall experience. These scenes have always been more about fan service than contributing to the narrative, and personally, I didn't find them particularly necessary. If you do feel strongly about it, there are other ways to see those parts of the story. Fate Stay Night Remastered also includes a variety of customizable options and enhanced 16x9 visuals. These updates make the most visually stunning version of the game. The setting menus offer several ways to adjust text display, audio, and autosave, and more. There are even different control types available, though you can't fully remap buttons. While a bit odd, this limitation doesn't actually impact gameplay much given the visual novel format. The main menu eventually unlocks a weapon and servant database where you can view profiles and stats. This feature is a nice bonus for fans invested in the lore. Additionally, you can quickly switch between scenes using the D-pad, adding more convenience to this already polished package. Another feature is the gallery, which includes a music player, flowchart, and ending list. Fans of Tsukihime will recognize the implementation of bad endings here. In Fate Stay Night, the character Taiga and Ilya break the fourth wall in a tiger dojo whenever you reach a bad ending. These segments are comedic, offering tips for progression in a lighthearted way, and if you find the tone jarring, you can skip them entirely. Lastly, let's talk about the script. Given the age of the original game, the quality of the official English translation was always a concern. However, after an excellent localization of Witch of the Holy Knight and Tsukihime, expectations were pretty high and they have been met. The translation is top-notch with only minor typos that are easy to overlook. You won't find any major issues here. Even as Type Moon continues to make its major releases more accessible worldwide, the release of Fate Stay Night Remastered is a monumental event. This game will undoubtedly draw in countless new fans. With its three-layered narrative, rich lore, engaging character dynamics, and thrilling battles grounded in well-crafted in-universe rules, this remastered is the best way to experience this classic. The enhanced visuals and quality of life improvements further solidify it as a definitive version. While not all the characters get the attention they deserve, and the pacing in Heaven's Field can be uneven, these are all minor flaws in an otherwise essential experience, whether you're a longtime fan of Fate or new to the visual novel genre. Noisy Pixel is giving Fate Stay Night Remastered a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noise Pixels run by Kirby Gamers, providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content.